As Joseph and Marcus were in the search of finding Lucy and Boken, they were just at Joseph's quarter when they immediately were spooked from the voice that said, Hello, fellow men. They turned to see Dr. Egg Eggman getting off of his Eggmobile and a Hoovercraft that was a brilliant scientist with a IQ of 300. Oh, Dr. Eggman, hello. Joseph greeted with a bow. What a splendid surprise to see you, isn't it? Eggman stated. Now, how's your family coming along after being locked up in the dungeon? The two cats looked at each other with nervousness. They did not know what to say to their boss. Well, doctor, Marcus explained, we had the queen and the daughters locked up for a while. But to put it mildly, they, uh, what? Dr. Eggman asked. What happened? Well, one of them managed to escape from her room, Joseph stated. Well, the other one escaped from the dungeon, Marcus continued. What? Dr. Eggman shouted. They got away? No, no, not quite, doctor, Joseph tried to explain. Where are they? Eggman demanded. They're still here, Marcus stated, but we're not sure where they are. Well, if I were you, I'd keep looking, Dr. Eggman said. But right when he was about to exit for the corridor, the doctor heard someone calling help upstairs. Could it be? He asked. Uh-oh. Joseph and Marcus sent an illusion as they ran upstairs to Lavinia's room, where they met Cupot, who was locked in. Hey, can someone help me? He shouted. Cupot, Dr. Eggman said. What in the world happened to you? How did you get locked up in there? It was Lavinia, Cubot explained. She tricked me into making me find some rats. After hearing what one of the minions said, the doctor took out his key and unlocked the door. Cubot was being set free, and after he took a look at the two cats and asked them, What happened to Orbot? Joseph and Marcus asked and looked at each other, trying to come up with an answer. We don't know, they both said. He might be in the dungeon, though, Marcus stated. Well then, Dr. Eggman suggested, take me to the dungeon. Everyone went down a flight a few steps, heading towards the throne room. While Eggman and Cubot were the ones continuing on, Joseph and Marcus stopped as they so could hear find the heroes talking to each other. Well, your highness, Marcus said, shall we take your wife and that little annoying robot? Well, yes, Joseph answered. We shall. For the heroes, Sonic, Lavinia, Shadow, Katarina, Lucy, and Boken were discussing about how they should take down and the Queen's establishment. That wasn't until Lucy was gagged by her husband, and Boken was picked up by Marcus all of a sudden. Hey, hey, hey! Boken shouted. Put me down! Oh no, Katarina exclaimed. Not you two again, again Sonic said. Ed, you will never learn to give up, do you? Shadow said. Take one step near these two, and it's off with their heads. Joseph threatened to get the heroes to stay put. In the meantime, Marcus called for the doctor to head to the throne room. Oh, doctor, he called. We have a little surprise for you. Within a matter of seconds, Dr. Eggman came back with Cubot and Orbot, who had just came out of the dungeon. What is this? He asked. We have finally captured them, Doctor, Joseph declared. You've caught them? Dr. Eggman asked. You've caught them! How delightful! Joseph and Marcus forcefully shoved Lucy and Boken towards their boss to have an even closer look at them. You must be Lucy the Cat Queen, Dr. Eggman said. Exactly, Lucy said coldly. And you must be Dr. Eggman. My good-for-nothing husband bows to you. Well, 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 Dr. Eggman said. It's been a long time since I last saw you, Boken. Yeah, Boken complained. And because you threw me out a long time ago, there's no way I'm forgiving you for that, Eggman. The doctor seemed to be astonished, but he shrugged it off and crossed his arms. Is there any way to talk to your creator, he asked. Well, sh sue me, me, Boken shouted, before spitting oil at his former boss's face. After wiping the oil off of his face, Dr. Eggman plainfully and simply said, Some things never change, do they? You better let them go, Father and Marcus, Lavinia demanded. Oh, yeah, yeah, Katarina said, agreed. You better give up that stupid game and step down. The doctor looked at the cat twins who were just glaring at the king and the minions with such anger and determination, but before walking towards them. So you must be Lavinia and Katarina, he said. Apparently, Katarina answered, and you must be Dr. Eggman, a mad genius with an IQ of 300, Lavinia stated. Of course, Dr. Eggman replied, and you must be the former princess to Joseph the Cat. After hearing the doctor calling Ling for a princess, Lavinia growled lowly. She was about to give him a piece of her mind. She was stopped by Sonic, who had just placed his hand on one of her shoulders. Settle down, Vini, he said. Let me and Shadow handle this. Despite her reluctant at first, Lavinia nodded and got behind the blue hedgehog. Her twin sister got behind the black hedgehog at the same time. 
You're not not gonna step one foot closer to Lavinia or nor Katarina, Song demanded, not while we're here. Dr. Eggman stopped walking and willing to look at his arch enemy, the ultimate life form, who was protecting the cat twins from them. Well, Sonic, he said, I should have known that it would have been you here along with that stubborn hedgehog. What do you want with this kingdom, Eggman? Sonic asked. Hm, Eggman said. Well, why would I tell you? Of course, cut the act, Eggman. And Sonic demanded, I'm talking about your involvement with the Cat Kingdom. Come clean, Doctor, Shadow and his in insisted. We need we know that you hired the father. At first, the Doctor was silent, but he threw his arms up in the air in frustration and said, Oh, all right, I'll explain. He cleared his throat before he began to tell the story. It all started the night when the Cat King found out you, Lavinia the Cat, made your getaway. He then began pointing at Lavinia. The flashback started with Joseph apparently woke up from a forced sleep from his closet his daughter cast a spell on. As he was getting up, he let out a groan. Well, Lavinia, I will have no choice but not to force you into labor for the rest of your life, but I will also... But before he could finish the sentence, the Cat King found out that Lavinia was nowhere to be seen. What in the world? He gasped. He looked around the throne room for her, but he couldn't seem to find her. Upon realizing that Lavinia ran away, his anger grew to a boil quietly. Lavinia just escaped her punishment, he screamed at the top of his lungs, intentionally waking up Marcus, Katie, Jessica, and Samantha. What's the matter, your hiatus? Katie asked, rubbing her eyes. My daughter got away, Joseph exclaimed. Where did she go? Marcus asked. Well, I don't know, Joseph answered. Regardless if I find her, I am going to drag her by the hair and force her into the dungeon where she will rot until the end of her time. If I could suggest, sire, Jessica suggested, maybe we could go to someone who is capable of dominating the world and controlling everyone in a false swoop. And who would that be, Jessica? Joseph asked, out, asked the blue cat. Well, I've read a book of reliable scientists who has an intelligence that they had anything that was impossible, Jessica explained. One of them, of course, involves Dr. Eggman. Is that so? Joseph said. Well, in that case, I say we go to his Dr. Eggman's establishment and ask him if he could help us find my daughter. With that being said, Joseph went into the corridor and packed up his things, and he hit for the road to Eggman's base. He ordered his minions to stay at the Cat Kingdom while he was away. After a long trip, Joseph finally made it to Eggman's base. It was located on a small isolated island from the Sovereign Sea, roughly about 2,200 miles from the Mystic Ruins. As soon as he rang the doorbell, the voice coming from the intercom said, Yes? At first, Joseph was startled by the voice. However, however, he remained calm around the collected. Greetings, he said with a bow. My name is Joseph, Joseph the Cat. I am the Cat King, look, king looking for a kingdom called the Cat Kingdom. I have to be because I wish to talk to Dr. Eggman. It's an emergency. For a moment or two, it was quiet until a voice said, very well, you may enter. Just then the door to the base opened, allowing Joseph to make his way inside. In an instant, he was approached by a red robot named Orbot and a yellow bot named Cubot. Well, hello there, Joseph, Orbot greeted. My name is Orbot, and this is my assistant, Cubot. Hiya, Cubot said, waving his hand. Well, I suppose you're going to escort me to Dr. Eggman, Joseph guessed. Yes, that's correct, Orbot answered. Right this way, please. Orbot and Cubot led Joseph into the room where Eggman was sitting, facing away from the entrance. Hey, Doc, Cubot said. This guy named Joseph is here. Perfect, Dr. Eggman said. Come a little closer. Without any hesitation, Joseph walked up towards the doctor. During that time, the doctor turned his chair so he could see the Cat King. You must be Joseph the Cat, he said. That is correct, Joseph answered. Well, in that case, hello there, Dr. Eggman greeted. I am Dr. Eggman. What can I do for you? Joseph began to explain the situation he was facing. He said, You see, Doctor, I come from a kingdom called the Cat Kingdom. My wife passed away last year from an illness called Neurohemion Disaffecency Syndrome, so I also rule the Cat Kingdom of my very own. But yesterday, my daughter Lavinia was on a running rampage for my ruling, and I tried to discipline her. However, when she refused that discipline, and she ran away. Listening carefully to Joseph's story, Dr. Eggman rubbed his chin with his hand. I see, he replied. Do you know where your daughter is? No, Joseph said, shaking his head. I'm afraid that I have no, no way of knowing where my little girl has gone to. 
He got down on his hands and knees. Oh, please, doctor, he sobbed. Tears forming in his eyes. I beg you, please help me find my daughter. I miss her very, very much. Joseph took out a photograph of Lavinia and handed it to the doctor. Eggman took a glance at it and fit the pieces together for the puzzle. Joseph wished to bring Lavinia back so he could enslave her for the kingdom. Feeling sympathetic to the cat king, the doctor got up from his chair and kneeled down towards him. Do not worry, Joseph, he said. I will help you find your daughters. My daughters? Joseph asked. Wait, I have two daughters? How was that possible? Apparently, I had one robot named Boken, Dr. Eggman explained. He became such a nuisance over the years that I have no choice but to throw him out. But there was a mistake I made. I forgot to wipe his memory cleaned off and put him in decomposition. But I made that realization when I went to Boken's analysis. During that time, I saw a familiar figure that looks just like your daughter in this picture. Without any hesitation, he logged into Boken's analysis feed and brought up the digital hologram of Katarine the Cat. It says that her name was Katarina the Cat, Eggman said. She's also your daughter, making her Lavinia your twin sisters. Upon realizing the hologram, Joseph gasped at the realization of Katarina. So my wife lied about having one daughter instead of two? He said. His anger was growing to the boil. I can't believe it! I have been deceived by, deceived by that cowardly queen. I must capture her and Lavinia so they will be my slaves for this kingdom. If that were to be the case, Dr. Eggman suggested, then I could help you find your daughters. If you take part of my empire, that is. Joseph thought for a moment, before asking, Well, what is it? Is this in for my kingdom? Maybe we can make your kingdom as part of the Eggman Empire, Dr. Eggman replied. After giving that request much thought, Joseph took out his hand and said, You've got yourself a deal. With that being said, Dr. Eggman took Joseph's hand with a shook it with delight. Welcome to the Eggman Empire, Joseph, he said proudly. We shall work with the kingdom and help you find your daughters. Brilliant, Joseph said, laughing evilly with the doctor. The flashback ended, and Lavinia had widened eyes with shock. Father, she said, gasped. How could you? You wanted me and Katarina to work entirely over this kingdom? That was not my... That's not how the kingdom was made, Lucy scolded. It is now, my queen, Joseph said, grabbing her by the arms and hog-tied them behind her back. Let me go, Lucy demanded. You're a disgrace to the family, Joseph. You're such bullies for trying to take over the kingdom, Boken shouted. As for you, Eggface, you have no right to establish your stupid Eggman empire for attempting to make Lavinia and Katarina work as maids. Is that so? Eggman asked. Just then he took the remote and pressed the red button. The ground shook with as if an earthquake was about to happen, causing the heroes to try and keep their balance with best of their abilities. Within a matter of seconds, a gigantic robot rose from the ground and stood on the back of the castle. Holy Takia! Katarina gasped. What in the world is that? I'm glad you asked, Katarina, Dr. Eggman answered. This is my very new and improved Death Egg robot. This baby can destroy anything with the blink of an eye, and that's what I'll do to this kingdom if you refuse to service my great empire. Lavinia and Katarina became horrified by the Utanium. This is your chance, ladies, Joseph threatened. Join us into working for the Eggman Empire or be obliterated by the Death Egg robot. Despite their nervousness, the Cat Twins were able to hold their grounds. We will never join you, father, Lavinia snapped. Not even if that robot can change our minds, Katarina joined in. Feeling disappointed, Joseph simply said, It's a pity. Lavinia and Katarina, it seems you have no choice. He turned to the doctor and asked, Shall we, doctor? Oh, yes, Eggman answered. Nodding his head, he looked up at his robot and commanded, Deaf egg robot, get them. Just then, the deaf egg robot's eyes began to glow bright red and shoot lasers at the heroes. Sonic, Shadow, Lavinia, and Katarina started to run away from the robot, all while dodging the lasers at the same time. With the heroes out of the castle, the deaf egg robot stopped shooting lasers. Well, 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 Marcus said. It appears that the cowards ran off. No worries, my fine men, Eggman said. We'll find them with the help of your robots. Within a matter of seconds, each and every robot walked towards the throne room. Robots, Eggman announced, go outside and find Joseph's daughters and their friends too. All of his robots obeyed and began to walk out of the castle in search of Lavinia, Katarina, Sonic, and Shadow. What do you think we should do with your wife and the old minion? Joseph asked. Hmm, Dr. Eggman said, holding his chin with his hand and examining Lucy and Boken. 
You two will be, be hold them hostage. Joseph, you take Lucy to the corridor and hold her hostage. And Marcus, you take Boke into the dungeon and hold him hostage as well. Yes, Doctor, Joseph and Marcus said in an illusion. As they dragged the cat queen and the robot away, Lucy began to scream for her life, whereas Boken began to squirm out while screaming, Let me go! Dr. Eggman, Orbot, and Cubot were the only ones in the throne room. After his cat minions went off to separate pinpoints, Well, Sonic, Lavinia, Katarina, and Shadow, the doctor said, Good luck on trying to save your friends, that is, if you can get past my deaf egg robot first. He laughed evenly with delight. Just when things weren't, couldn't get even worse for the heroes, they would run into another situation that would be more dire.